Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. It's been quite some time since Hearthstone moved into a core set model, where all players get a bunch of cards for free. However, having all those free cards doesn't actually mean that you can build decks. Like at one point, Demon Hunter was actually strong enough that you could build a corset deck, a Demon Hunter deck from the corset that you could play. You could actually play it on ladder. It wasn't super strong, but like, okay, you could get by with that at the start. However, more recently, corset just has not been able to do pretty much anything. However, now Death Knight is coming to town and Death Knight is getting a lot of cards in the corset. And I've been looking into this and I think Death Knight could actually build a playable deck out of Corset, so a completely free deck. And this is what that completely free deck could look like. The completely free deck would have to be a triple Unholy Rune Death Knight, because Unholy gets three triple rune cards in the Corset. Plagued Grain, Grave Strength and Lord Marogar. So you're going to get the ability to make some corpses and you're going to get some super strong ways to use those corpses. Because spend five corpses to give them plus three instead. Grave strength, that's a permanent bloodlust. Then there's Lord Marogar resurrecting all of your corpses. Just really, really crazy stuff. And in addition to that, also some of the other key cards, in particular Army of the Dead at five mana which is going to rise up up to five corpses as two to rush minions are going to be available in the corset. Obviously, there are some, some weaknesses in a pure corset deck. In particular, you will run out of Death Knight cards, so you will have to add some neutral cards. And right now, for example, here I have an Emerald Sky Talon. I have two copies of Murloc Tidehunter. I have two copies of Grim Necromancer. Those are not, not really great cards. You don't really want to have them in your deck but that's not much better on offer. Also, I'm slightly worried that I'm going to be spending my corpses a little bit too, too quickly, too inefficiently, with cards like Bondiger Geist and Umiya Deathbringer. Although it's possible that those cards can still be strong enough, but they're a little bit, they're corpse spenders, but I'm not sure if I'm going to get enough value of my corpses from those. Either way, Death Knight, pure unholy Death Knight, just swarming the board with tokens, buffing up those tokens, going face. Looks like the first deck that you can build completely free out of the corset in a long while. However, I'm obviously not satisfied with just that. What if we add a little bit more power to the deck? What if we turn it into a budget deck by adding a couple of cards that you would have to acquire through other means if that can improve the deck sufficiently much? So here you can see by comparison the free corset list on the left and then on the right uh, hopefully slightly upgraded list that uses cards like Cydenatrius. Cydenatrius is available for free from the start of the current rewards track. So that reward track is going to phase out when much of the Lich King arrives, but as long as you're in the game before much of the Lich King comes, you can get your Sidenatrius for free just by logging into the game and claiming it. So Sidenatrius is available, benefits hugely from all of those tokens, so you can get some big Sidenatrius plays to end games. Also Tomb Guardians looking really, really strong, getting some taunt minions with Reborn out of your corpses, Merlocula. You can infuse Merlocula to make it cost zero, so that you can really flood the board this token approach. I'm also thinking Infected Peasants, getting more corpse generation into the deck. I'm cutting some of the corpse spending, some of the less effective corpse spending, and I'm cutting some of the neutral corset cards that are just not strong enough, and trying to add more corpse generation and another win condition into the deck instead. And yeah, I think that might make this Death Knight deck even stronger and still remaining very, very cheap. I mean, it's like two rares, a bunch of commons. Cydenatrius is a free card anyway. So, boom. Obviously, the decks will need to be playtested once the expansion is live. But if you're here, if it's, let's say, first day of the expansion, you're just back to Hearthstone, you don't have any cards, well, here is a complete free deck that you can build and you can take on the ladder right away. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.